But first, a deadly shooting rampage, police standoff, and high-speed chase that put a Michigan city on edge all night long. And seven people were shot and killed as the suspect got himself in the middle of an unexplainable drama in Grand Rapids. ABC's Chuck Sievertson reports now on the tension. The ordeal began when the gunman opened fire in two Grand Rapids homes late Thursday afternoon. As local and Michigan State Police gathered evidence, neighbors and eyewitnesses expressed their shock. It's got to be the hardest thing ever. <laughs> two families just torn apart. All in the blink of an eye. If one person could do this to somebody, I just, this is terrible. Four people were found dead in one home. Three victims were killed in another house in another neighborhood. Police confirmed late last night that two victims were children. Great people, great friendly people that I could not, I could, the last people on earth that you would think something like this would happen yeah. to. Police identified the suspect as Roderick Shanti Danzler. He was discharged from prison in 2005 on assault charges. Local media reported a long police record. He has been a danger and a menace to society for as long as I can remember. It turned into an even more chaotic situation when police say Dantzler led officers in a high-speed pursuit opening fire. Two people were shot and injured. You can see the police car try to spin around to get behind him. He hits the police car, pulls out the gun, fires seven shots um, at the police car directly. You can see right there where there's, yeah, there's five shots like he was trying to kill him. The officers were in hot pursuit through downtown Grand Rapids on the wrong side of a busy interstate highway, which was closed for hours. The pursuit ended in an exclusive neighborhood where police surrounded a home where Danzler was holed up. The ordeal ended there. Just before midnight, police confirmed the hostages held in that home were released. Danzler had shot himself to death, leaving so many unanswered questions after such a frightening day. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News, New York.